Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Wesh, bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys another console tips and tricks video. So if you guys want more console tips and tricks on the channel, please, please, I beg you, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. I hate to beg, but it does help out the channel a lot. And also, I want to announce that I am doing some more giveaways on the, I guess, Season 6 Battle Pass. If you guys have not yet gotten the Battle Pass, do not worry. I'm giving it away to some of you guys for free. There's only two things that you have to do. The easiest things in the world. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what system you play on. Guys, I promise you I'm picking two winners. And I'm going to announce those two winners in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned. It's literally a 24-hour thing. So all you got to do is like the video, comment down below what system you play on. But with that being said... I want to get into this video, and at the end, I'm going to give three shout-outs to people that were helped out on Twitch. They were very helpful, so I'll give those shout-outs at the end. But in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the whole custom keybinds and stuff like that on console. Because a lot of people are talking about this, and they're like, yo, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what's good or not. And a lot of people are showing other people like different things and, and stuff that they use. But I'm going to give you guys my opinion. Again, everything everything in this game is opinionated. If you're comfortable with something, stick with it. If, if you feel comfortable doing something, stick with it now yes sometimes you do have to step out of your comfort zone to experience new things to try to see if you can hey maybe i can be a little bit better if i step out of my comfort zone and try this and get comfortable with this again everything's about trying if you do it for like a week or something and it doesn't work and then you're not getting better go back to your old ways it's okay to do stuff like that that is probably the only way that you're actually going to get better at a video game is if you step out of your comfort zone to try new things. And yes, it does take some time to get used to it. But guys, I have an updated version of this to editing because before I used to say that edit on the D-pad with the left on the D-pad, I would say push that to open up your mats. But I actually changed it because that, that does affect. I read the comments and a lot of people were saying it affects your gameplay because say you're running and you need to open up your mats and stuff like that. You can't do it while you have it on the left D-pad because you got to take your finger. Look at this. Let me show you. You have to take your finger off of this to, in order to hit this. So that means you're going to stop running in order to open up your mats and stuff like that. So to open up like this, it just doesn't work. So I understand where you guys are coming from. And there's a lot of times where you do need to open up your mats while you're running. So what I changed it up to is instead of holding this or pushing circle to open up your mats, all you have to do is push this big black thing right here in the middle on the PlayStation. I don't know if it works on Xbox. I don't know what button they have on Xbox that kind of compensates for this, but this is a button on PlayStation. So you just push it and it opens up your mats and you can build using that. You can push it again to close it or you can hold it to edit your mats and stuff like that. Now again, that is one of the best ways to actually open up your mats. And yes, I know a lot of people are like, but wait, what about opening up your map? It's easy. All you can do is on the left on the D-pad. And again, the reason I'm saying this is probably the best bet is because you don't need to open up your map, map whenever you're getting into a crazy build fight or anything like that. You don't need to open it up. So you don't need to take your finger off the left stick. You can constantly keep running. And say you're running from the storm and you want to find out, let me show you guys exactly how to do that with maps. So all you have to do, is say this is the running key right here. You run. All you got to do is just move your other hand forward, hold up, and then just push right with this hand to see where the map is. And you can constantly do that. You're usually not going to be interacting with people like that um, in the game. Usually, like, whenever you're in a gunfight, you're not going to ever want to have your map open unless, like, you're building or something. Like, say we build and we're chilling here and we want to look at our map. Now, there's no reason for me to run forward. I could easily just look at the map real quick and close out of it. And it's really simple. It's really easy. It's actually a really... I like this a lot better to hold the map just because I don't have to move my right finger. And it's really quick and easy in my opinion. So with that being said, that means that the new circle button is edit. So as you guys can see before, now it says edit with the D-pad. This is called, I don't know if this is called a D-pad or what, but you have to hold it and the loading screen happens there. And that's where a lot of people end up messing up and making the mistake when it comes to building and stuff like that. But I'm gonna build a little edit tower and show you guys, I did this in the last video. This video is gonna be a little bit quicker just because I don't wanna repeat myself, but look, this is a little edit tower. So if you guys remember before you wanted to edit, you have to hold circle, but now all you have to do is tap it. So before it would be like this, this is the speed that you used to do it on before. Wrong things like say for instance, I push confirm. Look at how slow this is. This works extremely slow. Like it's, it's gonna be really hard to, to do this just because Look at it. It's just it's just too slow, man. There's no way you're going to be able to get good on console with the whole holding circle thing. So I want to show you guys something really cool. If you just have circle as the edit, look how quick this is. And again, like I said, I am on console and, or I play on PC, so I'm not used to console controllers. But it's a lot quicker, a lot easier to do it here because I don't have to hold it. I literally just tap circle and it edits. As you guys can see, just tap it 
edit tap it edit the second you tap it it edits for you perfectly so for the, those of you out there that want to get a little bit better at building and stuff like that my suggestion is making this your keybind now i'm going to show you guys in the settings real quick what it looks like first off i'm going to change it back to normal builder pro all right so what you want to do is over here right under my webcam there's a, a few sections over here you want to go to custom click on that and in custom over here first thing you want to do is right on the d-pad click on that and make that your map and then what you want to do now is go to your map uh basically the, the big button on the playstation controller click on that and make that your switch mode edit after that you go over here to circle and you make that just normal edit after you do that, you're basically done. All you got to do is go to your build controls and you can change your build controls. Squad comms, make that map again as well. And then everything else should be good to go. By build controls, I mean pushing L2 and R2. You can see it has combat controls, build controls, different things. But if you guys want to pause the video, screenshot this, see what it looks like. And then pause the video, screenshot the build controls, see what it looks like and copy that. That is your guys' best bet. Now set settings and stuff like that, that's all personal preferences. I run 7.7, which is pretty slow. But again, the higher you go, the faster you're going to be able to build but you're gonna miss a lot of your shots like this so guys keep in mind if you do want to build fast it's gonna be hard at a to hit your shots at a higher sensitivity yes you can build faster you could do little one by ones a lot quicker but like I said it's, it's gonna be a lot harder man it's gonna be a lot harder to hit your shots so you got to find yourself the perfect balance once you find the perfect balance you'll be good to go and then editing this is And again, I'm not a console player, so this is like, this is pretty hard for me to do. But I know those you guys that out there that are really good console players, you guys could probably do this instantly. Like, you guys could probably get down this extremely fast. But guys, there you guys have it. The updated keybinds for controller, you guys, for console, for PlayStation. So guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do want the Battle Pass and you have not yet gotten it, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what system you play on. And I want to give a huge shout out to three people. We got Drowsy. Face Crispy, Sabrina, and actually another person. His name is Will the Thrill. He actually subscribed with Twitch Prime when the stream was over. So Will the Thrill, thank you so much for that. Sabrina, thank you for that. Face Crispy and your boy Drowsy. Guys, all four of you, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I'm going to be live streaming tonight, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Twitch.tv slash Exotic Motion.